This is a knife made of pure meteorite, and this was filmed before I even sharpened it. This iron is as old as the universe itself for all we know. It cooled over thousands of years in space, giving it a pattern that can't be found anywhere on Earth. You might say, the pattern is out of this world. It fell to Earth about a million years ago on what is now the Sweden-Finland border. Now you might be thinking making a knife out of meteorite would be just like making any other knife. But this video that Alex Steele made shows just how difficult it is to work with. It's extremely fragile and comes with large cracks that already run through it. So as you can imagine, it's not easy to shape. So first step is to get some meteorite. Now you may be saying, oh, why don't you use that huge chunk of meteorite you've abused various times in previous videos? Well, that would be way too easy. And also Nate from the internet and Patrick Adair already made one like that. Luckily, meteorite is really a dime a dozen. So there's a whole pile of it just collecting dust in the corner of the shop. It also makes for a great doorstop. Now I'm smashing nickels with a hammer to turn them into quarters taught me anything. It's that I want some thicker pieces to start out with. With my oven set to bake at 1800 degrees, I put the meteorite in and was extra careful to set my glove on fire and permanently disfigure it. The first attempts went okay, I think we got some good smooshing, but I immediately had problems with it cracking even though I wasn't hitting it very hard. But just to make sure, I spent a few more hours doing the exact same thing to find out if it really was a flawed method. This is how they came out after that first round, but pay close attention to this piece right here. I upped the kiln to 2200 degrees and the kiln said, best I can do is 2100 degrees. So we met right in the middle at 2100 degrees. The meteorite was better to work with, but hammering was still not really working and it was hard on the metal, so the cracks that were already there were cracking all the way through. That's when I had a revolutionary idea. Allow me to introduce you to my friend and colleague, the Jewelry Rolling Mill. This solves the cracking problem from the impacts and will allow for much more precise flattening. I'm just going to play this entire sequence with no editing so you can get a feel for how long it took to do this. I tried to forge weld two of the pieces together to give me more material to work with, but that didn't even get close to working, so we're just going to stick to using one piece. That, that didn't work at all. Now I'm going to be honest, I was just kind of testing it out on a couple pieces, so I didn't really get great footage of the entire process, but it ended up taking all day, and I got a piece that I really liked, so it wasn't about to start all over for no reason. It even has a little tang on the end that will be great for attaching a handle. Really, this just proves I'm a better metal worker than Alex Steele. I'm joking! Hmm, that's probably not off the wall. Now, as cool as this forge look is, it's hiding the signature meteorite pattern underneath, so I need to expose the iron on every part of the blade. After clearing off most of that, the blade is a lot thinner than I meant it to be, but that's okay. I'm a lot thinner than I should be, and my mom still says I'm handsome. I tried by hand and quickly decided not to do that and to start working on the handle instead. I'm going to use some bogwood oak. I'm thinking the dark color of the wood will look good with the dark color of the blade. That ain't right. With some video editing magic, the handle is now at the correct angle. Still working on depth perception though. Before we attach the handle, let's get all those imperfections off the blade. So after about 30 minutes of basically polishing the blade, I found a higher grit sanding wheel and started making some real progress. Give it the old tappa tappa. Now you may be asking, where's the cool pattern on the blade you keep talking about? Well, look no further than this questionable water bottle filled with a questionable liquid. Now this meteorite is specifically the Moanalaniesta meteorite, and it's widely regarded as having the most beautiful pattern of the available meteorites. Neutralizing the acid with ammonia immediately oxidized the blade, so now I have to clean that off. All right, let's see what this bad Larry can do. That's pretty dang thin. 
Ooh. Ooh. Kind of works, but not great. Pretty underwhelming, right? That's because it hasn't been sharpened yet. The acid etching left it with some micro serrations, so it does a decent job, but let's see what this thing can really do. You know, it's really nice to work with an actual metal that can be sharpened and not some material that's harder than the whetstone and grinds that down instead. You can see the line where I removed the acid etching. Oh, that's nice. Oh, 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 oh. The real page turner. Oh, wow. Look at that. This is probably the best result we've had on this knife series. Oh. Oh. Here's a knife Patrick and Nate made for comparison. You can see how the pattern of theirs is straighter and more geometric. And ours is a little distorted because of the flattening and smooshing. All right, this is for sale for $11,994.